Hi, welcome to our video on the best places to visit in Bretagne, also known as Brittany, located in the northwest of France. I will take you on a virtual tour of some of the most beautiful, and historically rich places in Brittany, France. First stop, Saint Malo. It is a fortified city on the coast known for its stunning beaches and rich history. The old town of Saint Malo, known as Intramuros, is surrounded by well-preserved walls that were built by the French architect Bourbon in the 17th century. These ramparts offer a panoramic view of the sea and are a popular spot for a stroll. Inside the walls, visitors can explore the narrow streets lined with half-timbered houses and shops. The Saint Malo Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of Saint Vincent, is a beautiful Gothic-style church that dates back to the 12th century, and is worth a visit. Saint Malo was also home to the famous French privateer, Jacques Cartier, who discovered Canada. He was born and raised in the city and you can visit his house, which has been turned into a museum, and tells the story of his expeditions. The city was also heavily bombed during World War II, but has since been rebuilt and restored to its former glory. The Grand Aquarium, located in the heart of the old town, is another must-see attraction. It has an extensive collection of marine life and offers an immersive experience of the underwater world. Next, we have Campere. Campere is a charming medieval town located in the Finisterre department, is known for its vibrant arts scene and traditional pottery. The city is home to the oldest Breton language theatre, Théâtre de Cornouaille, which is still in use today. Visitors can attend a performance and experience the unique Breton culture. The city also boasts a beautiful cathedral, St. Corentin, dating back to the 13th century, which is known for its intricate carvings and stained glass windows. The city centre is also home to an impressive collection of Art Nouveau buildings, which are a testament to the city's prosperity at the turn of the 20th century. Visitors can also see traditional pottery being made at one of the local factories and by some as a souvenir. Campere is also the capital of the Finisterre department, and a great starting point for exploring the region. Rennes, the capital of Brittany, is a vibrant city with a rich cultural heritage. It is home to the Parlement de Bretagne, the oldest parliament in France, dating back to the 15th century. The parliament building, located in the city centre, is open to visitors and offers a glimpse into the political history of Brittany. The city also has a beautiful old town with cobbled streets and historic buildings, including the Gothic-style Wren Cathedral, which dates back to the 16th century. Rennes is also known for its lively student population and a vibrant nightlife, with many bars, clubs, and music venues to choose from. The city is also home to several parks and gardens, making it a great destination for nature lovers. The Côte de Granite Rose, or Pink Granite Coast, is a must-see for anyone visiting Brittany. The coast is known for its unique pink-hued rocks and cliffs, formed from a type of granite that is only found in this region. Visitors can take a boat tour to see the cliffs up close, or hike along the many coastal paths for stunning views. The Côte de Granite Rose also offers several beaches for swimming, including the Plowmanich Beach, which is known for its picturesque setting and crystal clear waters. The small port town of Peroskirek is the perfect place to take in the views and enjoy a seafood meal. The town is also home to the Santia de Duanias, a 
coastal path that takes visitors through some of the most beautiful landscapes of the Côte de Granite Rose. The path is also home to a number of sculptures created by local artists and offers a unique way to explore the area. Ile de Bréard is a small island off the coast of Brittany known for its picturesque landscapes and mild climate. Visitors can take a ferry to the island and enjoy the sandy beaches, rocky cliffs, and colorful gardens. The island is also home to a variety of wildlife, including seals and seabirds. Ile de Bréard is also a great destination for cycling, as the island offers a network of cycling paths, allowing you to explore the island at your own pace. The island is also home to a number of small villages, each with its own unique character. Visitors can explore the quaint streets and visit the local shops and restaurants. The island is also home to a lighthouse, which offers a panoramic view of the island and the surrounding sea. Pointu Raz, located on the Finisterre coast, is a popular spot for hiking and offers some of the most spectacular coastal views in Brittany. The point also offers a lighthouse, which is open to visitors and offers a panoramic view of the sea and the nearby islands. Point Raz is also a great destination for birdwatching, as the area is home to a variety of seabirds. Visitors can also take a boat tour to see the point, and the surrounding area from the sea. The area is also home to a number of small fishing villages, which offer a glimpse into the traditional way of life of the region. Nantes, the sixth largest city in France, is located on the Loire Atlantique department and offers a fascinating mix of history, culture and modernity. The city is home to the Château des Ducs de Bretagne, a medieval castle that now serves as a history museum and the machines of the Isle. A unique mechanical sculpture park that showcases giant moving creatures inspired by Jules Verne's novels. Nantes is also known for its vibrant arts and music scene, with many galleries and performance venues to visit. For a unique experience, visitors can take a boat tour on the Idri River, which winds through the city and offers a different perspective of Nantes architecture and landmarks. Nantes is also home to several parks and gardens, including the Jardin des Plantes, which is a botanical garden with a wide variety of plant species. Last but not least, Morbihan. Morbihan, located in the heart of Brittany, is a department known for its picturesque landscapes, charming villages and rich history. Morbihan is home to many megalithic sites, including the famous Karnak Stones, a collection of standing stones that date back to the Neolithic period. Visitors can also explore the Gulf of Morbihan, a natural bay with a network of small islands and islets, which offers a variety of outdoor activities such as sailing, kayaking, and hiking. The Gulf of Morbihan is also home to a number of small villages, each with its own unique character. Visitors can explore the quaint streets and visit the local shops and restaurants. Morbihan is also home to several historic castles and chateau, including the Chateau de Sassinio, which dates back to the 14th century and offers a glimpse into the medieval way of life. That concludes our tour of some of the most beautiful and historically rich places in Brittany, France.